on my dogs, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. So today, um, I'm coming to you with a pen and ink video. Um, quite possibly, <laughs> I'm reluctant to say this because every time I say things like this, then I end up getting something and I regret saying my last ever, and I'm not saying my last ever, but I, I do feel that this is probably going to be my last pen video for some time. And the reason being is because um, I think for now I've got everything um, that I want to have at the moment. I really want to enjoy um, the pens that um, I've got and I know that there are um, there are um, comments on my videos saying have you tried this have you tried that and I could probably um, you know spend a fortune trying all different pens but I'm, I kind of know the ones I like at the moment and I've certainly got enough Lamy pens um, I've got the Safari, the All Star, the Studio and the 2000. Uh, I've got one Twisby, which is um, the 700R VAC in, um, I've even forgot what it's called now. <laughs> but it's the one with the um, heated, treated effect. And I've also got my Bennu pens. So the ones I'm really enjoying are the Euphoria, and this is the Bourbon, and this is the Vodka on the Rocks. But I did want to get, um, before I stopped buying pens, I did, because they write beautifully, and I wanted to get one of their Briolette pens. These are the pens that's like the cigar shaped. Now there is a whole raft of different versions of the Briolette pens, and I went through them all, and there was a couple that I liked, but the one that I went for in particular was the Yolanda. Um, I love purple. Purple is one of my favorite uh, colors. This is a smaller pen. It's a cigar shaped uh, pen, but I just thought this was absolutely uh, beautiful. One of my favorite combinations is purple and gold together. And just look at how stunning this this pen is so compared to the euphoria you'll see the size and the size difference here it's a little bit it's a little bit smaller it doesn't have a clip on it um it's just in this beautiful uh, cigar shape and there is the nib as well just stunning it's even more beautiful than what I've seen on videos and I've seen um, photographs of. It's just gorgeous. I think this um, faceted kind of finish as well really helps it to, to sparkle and shine. So I wanted a really nice ink to have with this. And you will recall, or you may recall, when I got my last pen, which was the Twisby, I ordered from the Lamy Crystal Range an ink called uh, Beryl. And that was more of a pinky purple and I needed for this pen a blue, a blue type purple. And there was a couple and I didn't know which, so I thought that I would try two. So I brought another one of the Lamy crystals because I'm absolutely loving this. Now it looks blue, um, but actually, and um, this is the Azurite, it's, um, it is like a bluey purple. Let me see if I can get that out. And we'll do a writing sample before I load, load the pen with a, a, a glass pen, um, just so I can take a look. Because in the bottle, like I said, it, look, it looks blue but it does actually have a, a purple sheen to it. This is the crystal range, the Lamy crystal range. And then I also got one of these, which is the Rose Noir by Monteverde. 
Um, and again, this has a beautiful deep uh, purple. I'm kind of thinking that this one, the Rose Noir, might um, be best suited, but you never know until, until you have a look. And then this little thing here is a really nice um, holder to, to stand it up because I do have one of these, um, one of these pen racks, but because of the, the way it's cut, um, thicker pens will not, not go into that at all. Um, and this one is quite stumpy of it being cigar shaped. So they do sell, and this is done in a crystal formation, which is just beautiful. Um, a little, pop all that back, a little crystal pen holder. So I'll show you how um, that fits. We're losing sunlight as well, so hopefully, um, so it fits like that and it holds the pen really nicely on the desk. Now, a lot of people will go to store fountain pens that way with the tip down. You really don't need to. And if you do, that's actually what causes clogging and, you know, yeah, it dries up. If you store them upright, you won't lose any sort of writing ability because of the capillary uh, action. A lot of the ink will remain in the feed so even if it's stored upright, it's still stored there and you can write perfectly and then it's continuing to, to feed down as you're writing. So a little tip, if you're going to store pens that are fountain pens, store them with the, the nib uh, facing up. All right, let's have a look at these inks then. So I'll just grab my Rodia pad. Um, we will get a glass pen and we will have a look. Let's have a look at um, uh, the Rose Noir first. That's it. These are very plain um, and they're not expensive actually. They're less than £10. I'm gonna bring the camera down as well, just so we keep the, the quality there. Okay, so I've got some water to clear the pen uh, afterwards. So let's have a look. So just so you can see it up close, Rose Noir by Monteverde. Oh, that's a little bit stiff. And we'll just dip the glass pen in. Let's see how this writes. So as you can see, it's very deep in colour. Uh, Rosemar Monteverde. Beautiful. And then we'll just give it a little bit of See what the smudge is like. So it's quite wet, which is nice, but that's a really nice deep purple. I think, I think that that will go quite well with this pen. Let's uh, rinse the nib. Okay, so clean the nib. And we'll pop the lid back on there and we will have a look at the Lamy Crystal and this is the Azurite. Oh look at that. Oh that's beautiful. So this does look a lot more blue uh, but from the reviews that I've seen and what I've watched online it is a it has a purple hue to it as well. So this is the Lamy Crystal right. I mean, this is nice as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
gorgeous. Oh, I really don't know which to go for. They're both so lovely. And no, I'm not going to buy another pen just so that, um, just so that I can find it. See, it does, can you see here, it does have a purple, and under the right conditions as well, it does have a little green, um, yeah, it's not really showing here, but that's a beautiful colour as well. Oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, the water's turned into a lovely, lovely shade of purple. I always get ink all over me. It's just, just how it is. Um, what do you think? I'm tempted, I think, for the Rose Noir. I think the Rose Noir is best suited um, for this for this pen when you look at them. Oh, is it? Is it? I think it might be the Azurite. Somewhere in between, isn't it? Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the Azure right. So let's let's grab. This isn't a Lamy one, is it? Oh, it is a Lamy converter. I need the standard converter, which is this one. I've got so many different little uh, things. This should have uh, arrived almost a week ago, but we've got postal strikes. We've got another one tomorrow. No post tomorrow in the UK. Um, so we're going through postal strikes and we're going through quite a lot of strikes in a lot of places really, but um, I am, mean, you know, if people need to strike, then they need to strike. So we just have to live with it. Um, okay, so we will pop that looks like quite a long converter, actually. If it's going to, to fit, it should do. Um, just double check that it's not too... Oh, take the ink out. <laughs> and make sure it fits okay. Yeah, that's going to fit. That's going to fit fine. Okay, pop that there. And then I'm just going to lay down some tissue paper. So we're going for the Azurite. I do love the Lamy Crystal range. So let's just make sure that's working okay. The feed is going down. Yeah. So we'll dip, dip it in, and then. So it's bringing some of it back up, but there's still a little bit of a gap there, so we'll push back down again. And then, there we are, no gap at all, look at that. Beautiful amount of ink, just wipe that. Okay, and then we will pop the base back on. Nice and tight. So there we have it. Let's just do a little see how it writes with the fountain pen. Now these don't, these don't cap at all. Another good thing about having uh, this little crystal is you can just pop your, your lid there so you don't lose it and you can sit on your desk. Uh, nice size, just made a little splash there. Uh, nice size pen. Um, I have big hands so it is a little bit small but I hold mine there so it fits fine. So this is the Bennu, and this is a medium, a medium.
medium nib. Bennu Riolet medium nib with Lamy Crystal. Oh, it writes beautifully. I really, really love uh, Bennu pens. I really do. So there we have it. Oh, I love it. I could, <laughs> I could get all of their range because all of the briolettes are stunningly um, beautiful. Really, really beautiful. We are losing daylight, so you're not seeing it as, as lovely as when I first started recording when the sun was shining through the windows. But yeah, there we are. Probably um, my last video on pens for a while. I may do some on inks because I'm really enjoying um, collecting some inks as well. Um, but we will see. Next video will definitely be a tarot deck because I'm waiting on quite a few um, that are being sent for review. Um, so they will be coming over the next uh, couple of weeks as well. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Thank you for indulging me on one of my other passions, which is uh, fountain pens. And um, yes, and until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.